Right here we're looking at the Bayonne Bridge Raise the Roadway program and um, one of the interesting things about the Bayonne Bridge is that with most bridges you're concerned primarily with the traffic going over the bridge with the Bayonne Bridge we're just as concerned with the traffic passing beneath the bridge. Uh, you think of the Bayonne Bridge in three main components one being the approach structures on either side another being the arch structure itself and the third being the suspended deck we're keeping the arch structure in place. It's a historical arch. It's in generally good condition. We're rehabilitating it to add strength to the bridge, to the arch structure itself. The suspended deck, which is suspended by the suspender ropes, is being replaced with a new deck that you can see there at a higher elevation. So we're suspending a new deck at 64 feet higher to give you that 215 foot air drift clearance. Um, we anticipate that we will achieve the navigational clearance by the end of 2017 um, and then we will complete the whole project where we're going to have the full four lanes by 2019. Okay so what we're seeing right here is the New Jersey Approachway construction on the Bayonne Bridge. Um, the approach roadway consists of 541 precast box girder concrete segments. Um, these box girders are installed with this launching gantry which you see overhead. It's a 500 ton launching gantry crane about 40 feet high, 40 feet wide, 500 feet long. And the purpose of this launching gantry is to pick up these precast concrete box cutter segments one by one, which are delivered on the back end, transport them through the truss, and they weigh up to 100 tons, to the leading edge, then they're lowered into position, joined to the next existing segment on the roadway structure. We're now standing on the new main span roadway deck for the new raised Bayonne Bridge. Right here you're looking at the new portal construction, the new section where you cross through the arch. We have already placed concrete in about 10% of the new main span deck. That's well underway, you can see behind me with the steel reinforcement beyond that, that slow, that's advancing towards the center of the bridge. The transfer truss spans one section of suspender ropes where it connects to the main span deck at the floor beam location. It transfers the load to a floor beam on one side and to a floor beam on the other side. Then what happens is the floor beam is jacked up slightly, so it relieves the tension on the suspender ropes. The suspender rope is disconnected. You can see first they're wrapped. This is actually gonna come out on the overnight shift tonight. They remove the suspender ropes. Then they install a new section of smaller suspender ropes higher up with the floor beam at the new elevated roadway location. That's the permanent suspender rope and floor beam, which will carry the new roadway. But then the temporary suspender ropes are installed down to the existing floor beam to temporarily carry the load of the existing roadway deck until we remove it once the new roadway, higher roadway is installed. And then this process is repeated from suspender rope to suspender rope.